Lisa Loring is perhaps best known for playing Wednesday Addams on The Addams Family, the kooky, spooky comedy series about a clan of oddballs who live together in a grim and ghoulish mansion. Fans of The Addams Family were especially drawn to the character Wednesday Addams, the youngest daughter of the series' parental figures Gomez and Morticia. In that original Addams Family television series, the role was given to Lisa Loring, who was only five years old when she landed the part. When the series finally premiered, she was six. Today, however, Loring has left the world of Hollywood behind, trading in the glitz and glamour of the spotlight for an entirely new career. Keep watching to see what Lisa is up to these days and what she looks like at the age of 63. Lisa Loring's Acting Career Born February 16, 1958 in the Marshall Islands on the Isle of Kwajalein, a United Nations Trust territory overseen by the U.S., Loring grew up in a military family. Both of her parents served in the U.S. Navy but divorced not long after she was born. Loring spent some time living with her mother in Hawaii before relocating to Los Angeles. At three, she started modeling and appeared in a single episode of the medical series Dr. Kildare in 1964. A year later, she was selected to play Wednesday Adams, the role that would prove to be the biggest in her career. After playing Wednesday for two years, Loring joined the cast of an ABC sitcom called The Pruitts of Southampton. In 1974, tragedy struck when her mother died of alcoholism at the age of 34. Loring was 16 when she died, and undoubtedly this horrific life event left her with quite a bit of heartache and uncertainty. After her childhood acting career, Loring managed to secure a role on the CBS soap As the World Turns. From 1980 to 1983, she played Cricket Montgomery, whom she also helped create. She later appeared in the slasher flicks Blood Frenzy in 1987 and Iced In in 1988. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about what Lisa Loring is up to today. Looking back. Almost six decades later, Loring looks back on her time on the set of The Addams Family fondly. In 2017, she was quoted as saying the show's cast and crew felt like her real family. She went on to say actors John Astin and Carolyn Jones, who played Gomez and Morticia, were like parents to her. The closeness of the cast made it a lot easier for her to keep up with everyone else while on set, especially considering her young age. While most kids in her age group were playing with dolls and coloring with crayons, she had to memorize lines even before she learned how to read. Loring says she had very little in common with Wednesday, despite the fact that she became inseparable from the character in the eyes of the public. Lisa liked pretty things like pearls and lace, while the character she played on screen liked all things dark and gloomy. Loring struggled to find roles. Loring joined the cast of The Pruitts of Southampton after The Addams Family wrapped up in 1966. That series saw her performing alongside stars like Phyllis Diller, Richard Deacon, and Gypsy Rose Lee, but it never really took off. After one season, it was canceled in 1967. For the next decade or so, she couldn't find work in the industry that seemed to fit her unique talents. Eventually, however, Loring managed to land that role in As the World Turns, but that part was, too, relatively short-lived. In 1977, she reprised her role of Wednesday Addams for a TV film called Halloween with the New Addams Family. It felt good for her to be back with her old TV family a decade after the original series had ended, but the reunion proved to be a one-off affair. Loring's Personal Life at 15, Loring married her childhood sweetheart, Farrell Feinberg. The two walked down the aisle in 1973 and not long later welcomed a daughter. But that marriage wasn't made to last, and a year later they called it quits. Loring was married for the second time in 1981 when she and actor Doug Stevenson exchanged vows. Stevenson was a contract player on another CBS soap, Search for Tomorrow. Lisa and Doug had one daughter together before their marriage ended in 1983. In the late 80s, Loring worked as a makeup artist and writer in the adult film industry. In 1987, she married adult film star Jerry Butler. The two met on the set of the pornographic film Tracy's Big Trick earlier that year. In the years that followed, Loring grew increasingly disturbed by Butler's continued participation in that industry. Eventually, he even started performing in pornographic shoots in secret. In the early 90s, Butler told Dateline NBC he was, quote, addicted to the lifestyle of being a porn star. He further shared he felt ashamed by his secretive behavior and how it had taken a toll on his marriage. Loring and Butler later appeared on the Sally Jesse Raphael show to once again discuss the damaging effects of Butler's porn career. Loring eventually filed for divorce from Butler in 1992, which was the same year he retired from the hardcore porn industry. 
a decision he apparently made by choice. After almost a decade of being out of the spotlight, Loring married her fourth husband, Graham Rich, in 2003. Five years later, they separated. In 2014, it was learned the estranged couple was in the process of divorcing. Loring has had several careers since leaving behind acting. By the early 90s, Loring's acting career had all but fizzled out. Around that time, she admitted to struggling with alcohol and substance abuse before checking herself into a rehab program. She went on to continue to pursue a Hollywood career, but the roles she was able to find were minor and few and far between. In 1995, she told people she'd grown tired of rejection, though she noted she was pretty picky about the kinds of roles she was interested in. After struggling unsuccessfully to make a career comeback in Hollywood in the 90s, she found work at an interior design firm based out of Santa Monica. In 2014, she appeared in the low-budget comedy horror film Way Down in Chinatown. She followed that up with an appearance in another B-film, Dr. Spine. While these marked the first time she acted since 1992, they were not much more than novelty cameo roles. In 2017, she shared she was focusing on her family life and making stops around the country to make appearances at entertainment conventions. These days, fans are still eager to meet the actress who once played one of the most iconic characters of the mid-20th century. Even though she never managed to escape her typecasting as Wednesday Adams, Loring doesn't mind being known for that role. If anything, she's grateful that people still know who she is. Now it's time to hear from you. What are your favorite memories of Lisa Loring? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.